Hello everybody, what's up? It's Bunny and in this video we are going to be doing an Animal Crossing video clearly as you can see by my character in the back. So this is my island, Bun Bun Island and it's pretty darn cute. I'm not that far ahead but I do collect a lot of materials and have a lot of fruit trees going on here right now. I've picked them because that's half the reason I want to make this video. So a way to make quick money is to obviously harvest the goods that your island has given you. You can also use a Tom Nook mile thing. Let me just show you where that is. And then you can visit other islands that are not friends and you can get items there too. So you can forge things from there as well. I apologize if you can hear my dog barking. So as you see here, we have the Nook Miles ticket. If you use this ticket, you get to go to the airport, use um, the Dodo service desk, and then fly yourself out. It's a random island, and sometimes you can meet new people there and invite them to your island. Then the next day, Tom Nook should give you their campsite. That's how I got my characters. However, I now have something called a tent, um, a campsite tent where people can come visit you. I have a lion guy right there that I don't want right now, so I'm like ignoring him um, because I talked to him and he wants me to talk to Tom Nook um, to let him move in and I don't want him to move in. I don't want any more ugly characters. No offense to anybody who might like this guy, but I just want someone cute. Please give me Diana. Please give me Christy. Please give me Penelope. Please, please, even Cherry. Yeah, so as I was saying, I don't want this guy, so I'm not going to talk to him. And I'm not going to talk to Tom Nook about him and hope that he goes away. Because that's what I want. And also, I didn't try to do my makeup so let's not comment on it because I just wanted to look less tired and all I really have is glitter and mascara so so here we have this lady who likes to rate your clothing if you speak with her she'll rate your clothing uh, she gave me this it's like okay I'm not gonna wear that thank you though and did they give me these? No, I already have that. See, I don't know if I like that with this dress. It's to match the blue on my hair, but I don't know. So once you get far enough in the game, you'll unlock the Able Sisters, which is a tailor. Um, if you've never played the Animal Crossing series, they create items. That's where I bought this dress right here. You can also um, use this and get creations from other Animal Crossing New Horizons players um, and if you get get a code or if you give them your code you guys can exchange things which is really cool so this is Mabel and she's really nice and then this is Sable and she doesn't talk but in the previous game if you harass her enough something happens, so I, I harass her every now and then, but I try not to harass her too much because I really like her. So the next thing I want to show you has to do with sending your friends items. So one way you can do that is you can carry an item that you might want to send. So I don't know, one of these. You go over here and you can send a card for 200 bells and you can send to best friends. All right, so let's say I want to send something to, I don't know. Let's send something to Kitty. Then you get to choose stationery and it looks like they'll have limited things based on, I guess, holidays, etc. because a lot of the stuff is Easter, which is pretty good. And then you can write something if you want. It tells you not to use profanities, but if you send to your friend, who's going to stop you? Hee hee will be my message, and then you click 
Oh. Well, I didn't send a gift there, but where my where my face where my face is blocking, there's an option there and you can send them a gift. And with that being said, Kitty wants me to open my gate. So if you want to open your gate, you speak to Orville Redenbacher. What the hell is on my head? And then you say, I want visitors. Yes, I want to be, uh, be a online play. And then Roger, let him do his thing. Saving. I want to invite all my friends. And there you go, gate open. So now anybody on my friends list can come to my town and steal my fruit. But that's a good thing, it's nice to share your fruit. And right now I have everything, which makes life easier and easier for everyone else. Another thing I want to mention is to make sure that you talk to your residents because every now and then you'll be able to give them items and they'll either give you... <laughs> I just I just sounded like Venus Angelic and that's not a bad thing. Anyway, eventually you'll be able to give them items and they will give you something back in return, either gold, bells, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it gachi points! And that's fun. You make them happy. So I'm going to actually give them this because I don't like it. Oh my gosh. Wow, you look so good. Oh, she's giving me a stellar jumpsuit. See what I mean? Even trade. Let's see what it looks like. Actually, um, yeah, that was kind of cool. They got ripped off a little there. Hmm. I like this better, but damn, that's going in my closet. So, as you can see, I have a lot of fruit. Also, my face is going to be in all sorts of different angles because my back hurts. I was involved in two motor vehicle accidents in less than a year in 2019. And my back and this side of my neck, which I can hardly turn, but you can see that it hates its life and is tight compared to this side of my neck which I can move effortless <laughs> effortlessly so yeah my back hurts and I have to move around a lot when I game sell me but anyway I collect fruit and your your traditional fruit to your island isn't going to be worth a lot of bells however anything else that you might have got from someone else's island will be worth more obviously it's rare also your residents will like fruit from uh, other places more because they can't pick it off the trees here. Even once you've grown it, they still think it's pretty cool. I got cherries, so they don't think that's cool. So this is Nan, and Nan is one of my favorite characters. She's the only one I like right now in my town, basically. And we're gonna give her something. Let's see, I can't have that have that either. You can have this. You need bandages. Aww. I wanted you to put it on and you didn't give me anything back in return. So I guess you need to give them something they actually like to get something. Rude. Give me my bandages back. Frig. A peacock butterfly. I already have it, but I didn't want to let it get away after it thought it was cool. This is another one of my residents. His name is Clay. He looks a little bit silly. He's not the worst one. I started with friggin' Phoebe and Bruce. And I'm not okay with that, or Buck, or whatever the hell his name is. Let me show you doesn't show you here cool never mind but he's a deer and I'm a hunter and my urges are kicking in so these butterflies are spawning a lot right now you're gonna want to catch them either give them to blathers if you haven't already 
or so you can sell them because obviously rare bugs are worth more money. So the world knows that you can come into Nook and Crannies and visit Tom Nook's son and buy items, which is cool and dandy. They have new items every day and they also have a hot item, which if you sell is worth more bells. To find out what the hot item is, you just need to talk to Timmy and ask him what's hot today. Wildflower wreath. Okay, that's nice. And I actually seen something I want to buy here, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this curb. No, I'm not gonna buy the caribou bucks. I obviously want the puzzle. <sighs> I'm gonna buy the puzzle. It's unfinished, but that's okay. Just like me. <laughs> and then you can also find more stuff in here, including DIY things, so you can learn new things. You also can get this cute little umbrella, which I'm gonna have to buy, because it's cute. Um, you can buy some tools if you don't have enough materials to make your own. I would recommend using iron to upgrade them. They last longer. You can buy flowers and they do change daily. You can get customization kits to customize your things. Wrapping paper in case you accidentally open a present and get yelled at. Um, you can also, like I said, get DIYs for beginners. I already have all these. And then you can buy your native thing. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and sell my crap. I wanna sell. And you can also find out turn up prices here. You get turn ups on Sunday and then you can sell them. But don't sell them necessarily on Monday cause they're not worth much on Monday. Uh, I don't wanna sell that. Okay. 40,000 bells. <laughs> well, okay. Look, we got a thing for that. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got nothing. It was just like, good job, you sold fruit. So these are Nook Plus rewards. You get Nook Miles for it, so it's good. Oh, look, I did something. Pick of the bunch. Look at that. Oh, I have a friend coming on live stream. So if you have friends added and they and you have your gate open, eventually you'll get people coming in. And so we have Kitty, who is my best friend in real life, coming to my island. She only wants to come to my island because of the Abel Sisters, which is the tailor. Rude. Did I lose the guy? I don't know, but I drank Coke Zero, so they're stained. But yeah, so this is what happens when someone comes to your town. You do have to wait until they come in. Also, it's kind of annoying if you share your dodo code online because until your lobby filled up, fills up, if you share it via Twitter, etc., and hashtag dodo code or on Instagram, people will flock to your town because they just want to see it. The game is new. Everyone wants to go everywhere. And you'll constantly have to be waiting just like this. But then you'll see the cutie pie come to your town. And this is Kitty. She does Animal Crossing commissions. They're beautiful. You should commission an art piece from her. She drew her characters and they're cute. And we also have to pray that she doesn't say any profanities while I'm recording right now. Because she's good at that. Also, while we're here and waiting for Kitty, I thought, see, what did I say? All right, so this is kind of comfortable for my back, so we'll stay like this for a bit. Excuse my face. I'm sorry. So yeah, this is probably going to wrap up this Let's Play Animal Crossing with Bunny. Um, if you guys liked this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. If you like and subscribe, I will have no other choice but to make more videos. I mean, I, I have been unemployed for a while now, so just give me something to do, please. Give me some, some, what's the word I'm looking for? motivation to live you know what i'm saying anyway 
enough with that sippy sappy 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 sippy stuff i'm still giving away a white tamagotchi pastel meats at a thousand subscribers i kind of want to do another giveaway after that but i'm not even going to announce it until we get close because there's no point until there's enough hype and we get to a thousand and i get to rehome that poor unopened tamagotchi pastel meats brand new i bought it from japanyouwant.com they have a perfect reputation they nicely bubble wrapped it for me and i kept it in the bubble wrap so it's gonna be lit all right i love you lovely bun buns so much i hope you're staying safe from covid you know as my character is with her fancy her fancy ninja mask that i really like it's really edgy <laughs> all right my bun buns i'm gonna stop blabbing now i hope you enjoyed this video like i said like and subscribe if you did i'll see you guys in the next one